After all these years, Watson, the trail is decidedly cold. But, Holmes, it's quite warm in here. All these years. Curiously cozy. No. Fiendishly clever. Observe, Watson. Warm house, many years. It must be... A Lennox. Elementary, my dear Watson. For home heating, for cooking, for hot water, use clean, natural gas. America's best energy value. Hello, everyone. Welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. We are the Charles Commandos, which means we are a group of really randomly put together servants going on a Charles quest. So with that, let's get going. The Charles Commandos. What a weird bunch. What a truly strange group. I did not think Shufu would be in this. Shufu just keeps coming back, huh? Good morning, Senpai. Fu! Why do you stay back, Fu? Why did you? That's curious. That's very strange. It's not the first time either. Wait. Wait. Last time was you stayed back because we went to a fake world. We went to a, a reality marble. <gasps> oh. Oh. Morning. And a lovely morning it is. Right you are. It looks to me perfect weather for your first day of work as part of the new commando unit. There's not a single bad omen to be seen, I think. Toast. Toast. Yeah, you. she must have just been extremely popular, which caused everyone to be like, we love you and want you in, and so then they put her in here as a preview. Good morning, everyone. It's me, Shufu. I know it's short notice, but I think we should get going right away. The sooner we leave, the sooner we can get back and rest up. Mm -hmm. Already planning your break, huh? Maybe this is because I was such a hard worker in life, but... Ever since being summoned, I've been seeking for breaks more than anything else. No. Why did she just cover her ears? Good morning, everyone! I hope you're as excited to get started as I am. How are you this peppy this early? <laughs> you guys hadn't come along. I'd have to work with him alone. <laughs> My stomach aches just thinking about it. Especially because you're a certified woman lover. <laughs> Be that as it may, just because it's morning doesn't mean we won't run into any enemies. We'll have to take advantage of this opportunity to demonstrate how useful we can be. Then I'll take the front line just as we discussed yesterday. Lord Holmes, Lord Tanner, you two shall keep to the middle. And you, Lady Shu Fu... We shall bring up the rear. Are we agreed? Yeah, works for me. I'll come along too. It doesn't seem like there'll be anything for me to do around here on my own. Then let us be on our way. We'll leave from the north gate by the main road. This place is quite lovely. It's quite idyllic, right? Reminds me of the Spanish countryside. You know, I've been wondering since we got here. Does commerce even function in this realm? And you'd think. Of course, all transactions are made with QP. Besides, there's no point in hanging on to more enhancement resources than you need after killing a demonic beast. That's how the servants of all three realms enhance their spirit origins. I still have a long way to go myself, but I'm at least doing better than you guys. That's your first ascension, I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, I'm not. I'm not even a servant. Or am I? Oh, hang on. I actually want to do some shopping while we're here. Is she buying rocks? Okay. <gasps> oh, man. Hey, can you see me? I was going to say, like, who is that? He is—he has a character design. What's going on? And then I saw 
just the the way the face is and his angle, I'm like, I know who you are. That voice. Setting? Hey, looks like we both got away clean. <laughs> Congrats. I was looking, I'm like, I'm like, who is this with a little bit of hair there? I'm like, who is this? And then I figured it out. Also, another one for the uh the type moon cloak gang. And the first guy. Why the hood? Oh, this? Uh, let's just say I've got my reasons for wanting to keep myself uh, to keep to myself around here. Everything okay with you? Yep, yep, everything's fine. Honestly, I'm more worried about you. But you seem like you're doing fine, so never mind. So what are you going to do now that you're free? <laughs> I think I'll just hang around here for a while. This place isn't nearly as savage as the Revenge Realm, so I've got a feeling things will work out. How about you? Oh, you're off on a mission. Uh, I wish I could help you out, I really do, but I'm afraid that's easier said than done. Sorry. No worries, I'm, I'm going to give it my best shot. Awesome! You've totally got this! Alright, I think I'll get going too. Bye! Something wrong? Oh no, everything's fine. I'm try to keep up. This mission looks like it's going to be a real bitch, both coming and going. Huh? Alright. I guess you wouldn't know since you were passed out. Our destination is way up in the mountains and there's no rope or anything to get us there. Yikes! Looks like we're gonna have to mountain climb. Hey, I was just wondering... <sighs> what is it? Are we gonna have to do this on the way back, too? What do you think? And I think maybe we should take a little break. I don't think that's a good idea. Huh? Why not? There tends to be a lot of snakes in this area. What, snakes? That's no big deal. I can cast a simple spell to. I believe these particular snakes are called a rochi in the Far East. Why are you only mentioning this now? It's a silly little group. We got a silly group of characters. All right, well, let's take them out with the power of uh, sabers. Sh should I use super diarmid here? When are we ever gonna? When, when, when are we ever gonna use them otherwise? Wow, a full party? Are you serious? Well, hot damn! Butter my biscuit. Who would have ever thought we'd get to do this again? I thought the three-party system was here to stay. Um. I mean, okay, no, I want to use you. Because even if you're not all powerful just yet, I want to use you, right? That's not a bad one for you. Uh, let's switch this out for... Uh, you. We'll switch you out for you, right? Oh, and actually, instead of you, you know what? Team Handsome Boys. We'll, we'll switch you out for, uh, uh, there we go. All right. All these handsome boys and, and mash. All right. Well, you're in your second ascension. Will we see if there's any big changes for it? We're technically in your third ascension. Okay. Oh yeah. It's, it's, I kind of like it. It's, it's a, it's an armored version of what we've already seen. I do like that. Oh, also, I've I've been told that uh, apparently the upcoming, the next story quest, uh, I mean, the, rather the next uh, event quest there, will have some of these more harder to get materials as part of it. So that's good. That's a lot of snakes. I would argue that's a comedic amount of snakes. Thank you. Wow, that was even like a little preview of uh, Shufu's, one of Shufu's spells, which is kind of cool. Um, okay, so let's just start with some of this here. Ooh, okay, we're doing good. Okay. It's one turn, right? No, it's, it's three. It's three for a couple turns. Ooh, curse on you. Very nice. Um, 
Are any of these giving NP gain? No, we'll get that going. Put that on. And is this give, give okay, how much? A little bit. Okay. Uh, let's go one, two, three. I wonder, you, you probably count as super giant, right? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Thank you for not working. Dang it. Well, we all got big scared. Guts? Wow, your abilities are kind of awesome. All right, let's get some of these. Dearmid gets his. That sucks, but we can at least we can clear that away actually. Okay, so you know what? Let's go. Uh, let's clear that. Are any of these for the rest of our party? Is this just stars? Uh, gain sea stars. It's for yourself, but we'll have some spillover. Increase NP gain. Um, pop that on you. And we'll go for all allies. Okay, wait, what was that? Did I read that wrong? Increase attack for all allies. Nope, that did it, right? And that's just for yourself. So let's go. One, two, three. Okay. Beta overkill on you. And how much are we going to get back? Not bad. Okay, we got the armored super also. No, we don't. That's just uh, annoying more than anything. Um, I could probably kill you, actually. Sure. Let's go one, two, three to kill you. All right. That's fine. Thank you for giving us the super points. Um, it's funny. He kind of has the same gimmick as Super Bunyan. Just a little bit. Not all the way. But a little bit. Just just a smidge. Kind of, in some ways, a slightly more nerfed Super Bunyan. But, because it's not kind of always going. Alright, let's see this version. Is this going to be different? No, it's roughly the same. Right, roughly the same there. But, uh, boy, he's going to be made a lot better when we get that quick gameplay change, right? Because that's coming up right away where the quick doing three quick cards in a row completely change it. It's so funny how fast he gains bond. He immediately loves you. Bro is like, you are already my friend. We are already companions. Way to go, everyone. Yay. And again, it's not like we can take any credit. I helped. Technically. Of course you all helped. Your aid was invaluable. Yeah, well, that's good to hear. You're a caster specializing in summoning, huh, Tanner? I, uh, guess you could put it that way, yeah? Wonderful. I feel as though I've gained a seasoned at warrior for an ally. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. The sheer strength of Mr. Tanner's summons shadows often leaves me speechless. Suffice to say, I, spec I suggest you expect the unexpected. Great, that should make this mission a snap then. I admit, I was pretty worried when I heard three casters were assigned to this mission. But now it looks like I'll get to take it easy the whole time. Yay! Alright, let's keep going. We should reach the recon area soon. Recon, huh? Like. Remember what was called Halo 3 Recon? That was a good four-part let's play. ODST, what a game. 
No one watched it, but that's okay. Lookout tower. All right, we got some assassins to worry about. We'll deal with that when we get to that. Come to think of it, Miss Shu. Huh? As a man of interest, I must inquire. Did you ever succeed in finding the elixir of immortality? Oh, uh, I think? Maybe? Maybe not? Maybe it doesn't really matter either way. It didn't matter? Uh, can you please forget I said that? On the off chance Emperor Qin Shi Huang gets summoned, I don't want this coming back to bite me. And again, maybe it's okay, since I doubt they'd get some of this singularity anyway. They won't. Right? Huh. Forgive me for interrupting, but we're almost to the Tower of Xantin. It's an observation tower located right between the Revenge Realm and the Righteous Realm. Of course, the sky hasn't turned red yet, so that means we're still in the Righteous Realm. Red sky? Huh. Oh yeah, the sky actually did turn red there. It's like Batman. The Revenge Realm dyes the sky red to... Demarcate? Demarcate? That's a word. Its domain and demonstrate its vengeful spirit. It's their way of telling outsiders, this is my territory, trespass and die. You know, since land can't actually talk. Mr. Uadupvni. I had to think about who he's even addressing. Would you be so kind as to tell us more about what this mission entails? I believe we ought to gauge the enemy's strength. We were told to, rather. That's right. We learned a small battalion had been stationed here not too long ago. Our objective is to find out what kind of servants are in it. Of course, depending on the situation, we may also decide to eliminate them. How small is small in this case? About ten or twelve servants or so. They do outnumber us a bit, but we should be able to handle them just fine, as I'm told they're no all no more than phantom spear level servants. So, now... We just have to decide what our first move will be. A tower, huh? Are you just gonna kiritsugu it? Are you just gonna look at it and go pew, pew, take it down? That'd be bad. We should we should take this tower for ourselves. Look look at this tower like will be used for a tower mission later. Never seen a tower like that before. Same here. It's a little big for a lookout tower. Hmm. Fascinating. Did you figure something out? Not from the exterior alone, no. We'll have to make our way inside first. Shh. I see they have patrols out. I don't see any lookouts standing watch outside, but they have to have at least a few somewhere. You can safely assume there are assassins about. Adding themselves with presence concealment. Probably two, no, three of them. If I were in charge of where they were stationed, I'd post one on either side of the doors and another behind the first two. And I'll try drawing them out of hiding. Now that you've narrowed down the field of possibilities, I should be able to use an effective Dawa start. I'll also put up a soundproofed, proofing bounded field while, I'm at, while, we're, while we're at it. If we're lucky, We'll be able to make it into the tower without anyone noticing. Amazing! We're lucky to have you with us, Lady Shufu. As long as you appreciate it. Okay, is everyone ready? I'm ready. Indeed. All set. Good. A motion forbidden, spirit enlightened, body pacified. Then had a dash of tongue twisting and silencing. Wh Enemies! But I can't move! Enemy attack! Enemy attack! Damn it, they can't hear me either. I am Diarmid Adovni of the Knights of Fianna. Have at you! I'll just stay anonymous if it's all the same to you, thanks. Charles the Great Commandos, go! Charge. You're actually telling them who you are? Let's get your story straight. <laughs> Alright then, let's take care of them, shall we? At least, at least Holmes is having a good time. Ignoring the fact that he might be a bit of a sussy baka. Just a little bit. I'm a little suspicious of him. Just a smidgen. Um, yes please, I'll take you. And then I have my kill cavalry. 
which will do you, you, and I can replace you with, uh, let's see. I mean, you're just fun. You're just a fun card to use. You're good. You do physical. Um, I'll switch you out with you because you can do some stuff after, right? If we if we want to, we can switch it out with you. And I'll switch you out then for... Maybe... Maybe, maybe Baby Babu? Okay, Baby Babu. Sure. All right. Let's give this a go. Probably not the most offensive team, all things considered. I feel like we, I, I could have made a team that actually is a bit more f attack focused, but uh, that's all right. That's okay. What? This is only going to be, a, I, they said it's only going to be like 12 servants, right? So it's going to be like, yeah, three of these guys, NP sealed. We got a bunch of stuff. Look at this. We're going to kill one of them right away. We're going to kill one of these guys immediately. Check this. I'm going to pop this on you. I'm gonna pop this on you just so that we get everyone with that. Um, okay. And then let's go. Does this give you gain up? Increase attack for all allies for three turns? Heck yeah. All right, let's just straight kill you. Let's do these. All right, cool. Do your thing. Punch with the power of the Buddha. That's super killed, right? Yep. Nice. And yeah, attack and give some meter back to you. Wow. Oof. Okay, well. Hot dang, huh? And then let's go with you. Let's go this. Let's do this on you. Gain stars. And let's go one, two. Oh, do we want stars? I think I'd rather get some meter back with you. Yeah, just to get a bunch back there. And because they have no break bars, this could absolutely kill the other fella. Just absolutely. All right. Oh, well, it's going to kill him here. Nice. Oh, he's going into hiding. Okay. Uh, can we even... Does that do... Break Invincible? I'm not sure. I don't think it does. Dang it. Well, let's go one, two, three. Let's see here. That killed... Well, it should end after our turn, right? So it should be fine. We'll kill him that way. Right, and then it's gonna yeah end for him. He's gonna attack, and we go bop. Nice, nice. How can uh, it still blows my mind? I'll read things and I'll see people being like, "Yeah, Baz, it's not too good. It's a very." Uh... You know, self-hurting move said with low survivability. What are you talking about? You're insane. Bazit's crazy. Now we're going to take out the casters. Oh, if only we could use the basically the same trio almost. Damn it. I don't see any reinforcements coming. It looks like we're still clear. I don't sense anyone on the other side of these doors either. Let's go in. Ooh. That's a tower tower. Dang, look at all this new background art. At first glance, there doesn't see, appear to be much of note here. Let's see what's on these documents. What do they say? They appear to be the plans for this tower. Hmm. What? Anything significant? Miss Shufu? Huh? I suspect this tower may be directly connected to a ley line. Would it be possible to confirm that? Hmm, I might be able to tell from the basement. 
Then won't you be so kind? Huh? Let me to go down by myself? No thank you. <laughs> A fair point. Go with her, Tanner. Got it. I'll come too. It could be dangerous with only two casters. Where are you going to go, Holmes? On the top of the tower, of course. Then let us head down and see what we find. Come on. Oh, all right. Looks, this looks like it's going to be a major pain in the ass, though. Hmm? Hmm. Any luck? So this goes here. And that goes there. Huh. Why would they do this? All right, let's ask him. Them who? Those casters working over there. I'll leave them to you. Hup. I can't move! Good luck. You might want to hurry, since your casters will probably figure out how to break that spell pretty quickly. Next time, give us a little more warning, would you? I mean, it's fine. I can pretty much kill them real fast. Let's see. Who's a good rider that we can just grab? Um, the lad? Lad could be fun. Lad could be good. Sure. We'll grab the lad, we'll grab you. Um, you don't get a bonus anymore. So maybe let's go... Mm, sure. Wait, what's, what's your, uh... Are you... You're blue? You are blue. Blue could be useful. Blue could be useful. Right, we get some blue up in here? Hit him with the imaginary technique blue? Let's do it. What do we got? I mean, it's gonna be... This is our first time battling the cast, the generic caster? Huh. Might be. Let's see. Yep. I mean, mind you, these look similar to things we fought before. Um, okay, let's just look here. Um, no real combos or anything. And I only have one of yours. So, you know what? Let's go. So, they have a defense up. One left. Okay. Let's go one, two, three. All right. Quick spell, charge gain. Yep, that's what I expected. Oh my god, the return of big magic balls. Um, not a great hand again, really. Um, let's go. Just some of this then for now. Hey, remove NP strength up. That's useful. Okay, they give like 15% meter on hit. Um, so let's just see here. Get that going for everyone. Increase buff removal rate. Okay, that gave a little bit. But the bigger thing is we got this with you. Strength up versus caster. Hey, that'll be nice. Um, let's go one, two, three. Okay. Okay. Do this. I'm gonna punch ya. I'm gonna punch ya. Alright, let's see here. How much is this gonna do even with the thing down? I actually still did. Did a decent amount. See, that did a lot though. And we're back to 100. Very nice. So now check, check, check a this. We're going to go with this on you. We're going to go, uh, let's go one, two, because I feel like we're going to kill. And then three. Oh, we didn't. Well, it's fine. It all works out in the end. So let's go with... Okay. And then 
Nope. Come on, do it again. Come on, do it again. Oh, you don't need to, because you're dead. Because you're dead. Nemo barely did anything. But it's fine, because you're dead. Sick. Uh, so that's how they... Huh. I'm afraid we killed them all. Is that going to be a problem? No, no, it's fine. Ask was more of a figure of speech there. I can basically tell what they were doing from their actions, their gait, and the spells they left behind. That's what I meant by ask. Hmm. I knew it. This design is for sucking up magical energy straight from the ley line and setting it to the top of the tower. It's still not active, though. Maybe they're about to test it. Hmm. How much magical energy do you think they are? They were planning to gather? Maybe a little less than you'd need to form a Holy Grail? That's quite a lot. They must have been planning to perform a special summon here. Master, I passed Shufu's analysis on to Holmes, and he says he wants you to come to the top of the tower right away. Holmes said he wants us up top. I'm still Zelda-brained. Where I'm just like thinking like, man, wouldn't it be nice to press a thing and just whoop, go all the way to the top, but doesn't seem like that's a thing. My apologies on calling you all on such short notice. So you got into a bit of a scrap on your own. You ran into a little resistance too, but Holmes took care of it in no time. As for you guys, I guess Diarmid must have played a big part. It was nothing. I was fortunate enough to have Lady Shufu's protections and Lord Tanner's summons. It was a group effort, and a very successful one. Uh, how are you this nice and handsome? Do pretty people have to have everything? Kinda pisses me off. I am genuinely confused. I heard about your discovery from Miss Kyrielite. Are you certain? Pretty certain, yeah. I see. Hm. Well, then we can breathe a sigh of relief for the time being. Second so of magical energy straight from the ley line sounds pretty ominous to me. Agreed. It would seem I was correct. Which is why I want you to take a look at the top of this tower as soon as possible. See so for yourselves, Mr. Dovni, Miss Shufu. Except for a partially constructed stand, there's nothing here. I suspect this tower is intended to be a means of direct attack on the righteous realm. The plan was most likely to convert the energy taken from the ley line to pure physical force, a powerful projectile. Which means this stand is meant to be an artillery battery. But once again, as you can see for yourselves, there's nothing here. Not yet. I suspect they simply haven't been able to build a cannon large or durable enough to fire such an enormous mass of magical energy. Well, that's comforting. For the time being, I suggest we investigate any servants who in the revenge realm had a hand in this tower. If we can keep them in check, that can actually prevent them from completing the cannon meant for this tower. Should we found out our backup plan can simply be destroying this tower? The servants who are on patrol should be coming back any moment now. Let's hurry and get out of here. I, f I don't know. I feel like the whole thing of like they were meant to summon someone. I feel like that's not wrong. Maybe they're trying to summon a servant to fire a shot out from the top or something. That's possible. Berserker. The battles you fight will depend on the choice you make. Huh. Okay. What are we doing? The next part of our mission is to secure an abandoned stronghold. This will also be within Righteous Realm territory. It would take us about an entire day for to get there on foot. So we're going to borrow a horse-drawn carriage from a nearby safe house and take that most of the way. I love not having to walk. A safe house, hmm? Do you perhaps have one in every region? Yes, we do. The Secretary ordered us to build them. We have four in the Righteous Realm, two in the Revenge Realm, and one in the Reinstatement Realm. They're all hidden very well, and none have been discovered by the enemy yet. I see. It sounds as though you've done a good job covering your tracks. They certainly have a great deal more than... Uh, whoop. They certainly have a great deal more than I thought they would have, though. Perhaps they're meant for some other purpose. Come, let's be on our way then. We can use the key the secretary gave me to get inside. It needs a key? Yes, 
The safe houses are fitted with spells to blow the whole thing up if someone tries to enter it without the right key. Better safe than splattered, I suppose. I see. Well, that does make sense. The key or not, most, uh, most any servant could break into most anywhere if they wished. But if you ring a place to explode upon forced entry, you can eliminate the risk of the enemy getting crucial information. What about stealth entry via spirit form? I'm told each individual room has its own bounded field, and they're set to explode if they detect any spirit forms too. <laughs> well done. This way. Really? I don't see any buildings out here. It's here. Underneath the broken down wagon. Okay. Whoa. Sorry, is that literally a Zelda ancient horse? There's a horse here? We obviously couldn't keep a living horse down here on standby indefinitely, so I think it's a kind of golem. Yeah, that looks like a freaking ancient horse. All right, those things that Kabbalist caster's always making. The Revenge Realm uses demonic beasts to pull their carriages. I hope we'll get a chance to ride one of those too at some point. We've got spare weapons here, huh? Mind if I take one? They're more for decoration than defense, since they're only meant to be used in an emergency. But if you're all right with that, then by all means. Besides, nobody else is going to use them. Yeah, that tracks. Well, we got protective mystic codes, too. I don't suppose I could all... S on second thought, never mind. Uh, because the, cause the thing, if it detects use... Because I don't want my collar reacting to it and going off. Oh, right. So they've got Western wine, but no Shaoxing wine here, huh? No beer either, damn. Not me! No, guess what, Shufu? Listen up! Wait. Ah, there we go. I got some right here. Some, uh... Ah. Kirin Ichiban. Yeah, baby. Mmm. Beer and gotcha. What a combo. Oh well, once we're done with this mission, I'll just put in a request to the secretary. Alright, we better get going. I'll be the coachman. The rest of you can just sit back and enjoy the ride. I'm gonna take another sip of that. That's so good, actually. I've, I never liked beer. And then I realized that I think I just hate Canadian beer. Kirin Ichiban is real nice, actually. Mmm. Mmm. That's the good stuff. Be warned, I'll be driving pretty fast, so it might get bumpy. Ready? Yeah. See, now I know that the that this is a, meant to be a carriage. Oh, we're gonna be barfy by the time we're done. We're here. Come on, we'll walk the rest of the way on foot. You can come down from the carriage now. I think I'm going to be sick. Same, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was going so fast. Good thing I turned into my spirit form. I don't want to think about what would have happened if I hadn't. I'm surprised you guys didn't do the same. You're really cautious sorts, aren't you? Sorry to ask, but... <coughs> got any meds for motion sickness? Yeah, I do here. Thanks. Honestly, I feel a little sick myself just watching through the monitor. It's nice that he is very human. Caddock is, like, he's, he's an edge bro guy. But at the end of the day, he is still extremely human. Okay, now that we're all settled in, there's a stronghold up ahead that the Revenge Realm meant to use as a bridgehead for invading the Righteous Realm. Luckily... The Righteous Realm just mar barely managed to woo, eke out a win, forcing the Revenge Realm servants to retreat from this region. Unfortunately, we suffered a lot of casualties in the process, so we couldn't lay claim to the fort itself. We can't just abandon it out here, but we also can't do anything to want to draw attention to ourselves. So we decided to start storing supplies here in secret, but made sure to we made it l let it look abandoned, even as we bolstered its defenses. But since it's abandoned, demonic beasts have taken a precedence. So the first thing we need to do is destroy them. Once we're done with that, 
Supplies crews will come to stock the place, so we can just concentrate on ridding these demonic beasts. Then let's take care of these beasts now. By the way, there aren't any demon boars among them, are there? Can't guarantee there aren't. Why, you got something against them, Diarmid? Well, one killed me, so... Ah, uh, may you rest in peace. He's not dead yet, though. Actually, I was already. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Wait, how's that funny to him? I'll put up a bounded field around the stronghold to make sure no demonic beasts escape. From there, well, you know, I'll figure something out. I'm not hearing a lot of planning in this plan. Hey, if anything, you should be admiring me for my flexibility. Well, here goes nothing. Then let's begin! Well, Welp, time for this night to beat a hasty retreat. Already? Apologies, bad joke. I really am conceptually weak against demon boars, though. Uh, then I'll handle them. I'm not gonna say that. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, wow, he literally says he's weak. Yeah, that's fine. Shoo shoo. It's fine. It's a berserker. We got... We got foreigners for days. Is there another foreigner here? Uh, double vet? Oh, no, let's go double Koyan. The double Koyan craziness. Yep, this, this here is so disgusting. Like, it's just curse, 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 curse. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. So let's see here. There's a couple baby boars. Uh, we can do a full combo with you here. This is so stupid. Oh my god. And let's go with this. Let's go with this. Wait, which one is the one that gives it to all of them too? Uh, absorb curse from enemies. Uh, I mean, they don't have any yet. Apply curse. Apply curse. Absorb it. Uh, I'm just going to not do that for now. Yeah, I'll just not worry about that. Instead, let's go one, two, three. Okay. Take all of these. Or are they just dead? Oh, Lilins are. It's gonna die by its its effect here. Watch. Watch this. Oh no, it wasn't enough. Darn it. Well. Just kill you here. Okay. Easy peasy. All right, boy, quit yo yapping. We're good. That's the last of the hostels. No other readings detected nearby. Great job, master. All done. Thank you for fighting those boars in my stead. I truly appreciate it. What about the stronghold? Oh, we're there. Uh, we're fine there. Luckily, it looks like the supply crew just arrived. Here you go. Thanks. Sign this. You can officially take over. Done. All right. We'll let you guys handle it from here. Understood. Parry the servant. <laughs> Sorry. I was just like, what does that, what's that voice remind me of? All right. Uh, I'm glad we're taking our time on the ride back. More importantly, this would seem to bring our first mission to a successful conclusion. Feels like a pretty roundabout way to accomplish our goal. But I guess this is what we have to... This is just what we have to do in a weird singularity like this. Looks like we're in it for the long haul, yeah? 
Indeed. Although in this case, there's one person I'm concerned about leaving in his current state. You mean Cl Count Vlad? Yeah, I forgot about him. Precisely. According to what we've heard from Kalia, both his spirit origin and contract remain intact. I suspect he's still right where we left him. We should at least collect his body and bring him somewhere safer. We don't have to... Uh, why don't we talk to Charles the Great about it? Good idea. It would be prudent to ask his assistance. We're almost to the safe house. From there, we'll be hoofing it again. Is the joke... Almost in unison, the two mages let out a sigh of bone-deep weariness. I was at, The joke was, oh, like, we'll be, you know, wa hoofing means walking, not with a horse. But no, they're just tired. They're tired. Big team tired boys, you know? Thank you for that. Oh. Don Quixote de la Mancha's departure. Are we doing like a flashback or something? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Theme of political. That concludes my report, sir. Hmm. Sir? Can you find out whether there are any other such towers near the Righteous Realm? The capital is too well protected to infiltrate, but yes, we can survey its periphery. Then do so at once. I'm curious to know more about. Uh, Caster, can you investigate this tower more thoroughly? You can have more personnel if you need them. It will be done. Is there something important in this tower? At the moment, all three realms are more or less evenly matched. The Revenge Realm consistently goes on the offensive, our Reinstatement Realm fends them off, and the Righteous Realm watches from the sidelines, keeping both sides in check. Now, both I and my military advisors believe the Revenge Realm is about to undertake a large-scale invasion very soon. If they're going to succeed, they'll need some way of ensuring their victory. They can't take their time to wage war because the Righteous Realm is bound to interfere. Which brings us to this tower. It only makes sense to assume there's something more to it. And if we do turn, if there do turn out to be other such towers, investigating was enough. If you can find any other, if you find any other such towers, feel free to destroy them. Understood. All right, that concludes today's war council. Now, Pope Johanna will perform a memorial for those we've lost. Well, I regrettably won't have time to do so myself. I urge those of you who do have time to attend. Of course, my liege. Thank you. And may everyone we lost rest in peace. That's it for today's prayer. Thank you all for coming. I'm now going to be passing around a small bowl. Um, please feel free to fill it with QP. Um, remember that uh, if you don't, uh, you're going to hell. And uh, you, you, you'll go to hell before you die. Come on, Bradamante. Let's go. Yes, your holiness. I'd be honored to accompany you. I'm... Surprised you're here. That's interesting. I really like the service today. No, well, any particular reason? It just made it feel like there weren't too many casualties. Oh, that's true. But as no lives are more valuable than others, neither are fewer lives lost more acceptable than many. Yes, Your Holiness, I'm sorry. To die is a sad thing. Though that may be cold comfort for me since they're dying on my behalf. You're right. Death is a sad thing. That doesn't mean we regret our choices. We're proud to die if it helps our rebellion against proper human history, well, strange as that may sound. Are you certain of that? About what? I'm told Charles the Great leads the Righteous Realm. Was he not your king when you were alive? Yes, he was. But I made my choice to support, right, re, support the Reinstatement Realm over the Righteous Realm. I really felt like yours was the right cause, Your Holiness. Of course, I know some servants here still mistrust me because of my past associations, but... It's all right. I believe that you speak with conviction. Thank you, Your Holiness. Say, would you like to have a meal with me? A meal? That's right. I know servants don't need to eat, of course, but a good meal does still does wonders to lift morale. 
I've been asking his Imperial Majesty to have servants that feel at home in the kitchen start making meals. I see. Even if you don't feel hunger, I'm sure you still like good food, don't you? Oh, uh, yes, of course I do. Although, may I ask what kind of cuisine it is? That I don't know. But I've never heard of anyone complain, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, come on, let's go eat. Okay, let's go eat! I've never seen... I never thought I'd see the Pope do a cute little tonguey face. It's a shame about Salome. It hurts to lose her. You think? I will say I was surprised that she never did cut off the Kalian's head. But I always thought it was only a matter of time until she did something like that. Didn't you feel the same? I did, but she still chose a very inconvenient time to go rogue. Yes, that's true. But it's still nothing compared to you know what. Ah, oh, well, looking at the bright side of this turn of events, Galia has drawn the gaze of the reinstatement realm. Even if they know about the towers now, they still have no way of determining their true purpose. That still leaves the final adjustments, though. We still can't use him as a servant, right? What are we doing? I'm afraid his social withdrawal protections are just too strong. Maybe there was some kind of error in his summoning, or maybe that's how he's always been. It hardly matters. If anything, this works to our advantage. Indeed, indeed. Although, why the sudden change of heart? We know that Caldia's here, right? And we know they've taken shelter in the Righteous Realm. Now that all the players are here, the only thing left to do with this war is to win and put an end to it. You're saying we're headed towards total annihilation? Fine with me. Doesn't matter if you or I meet our ends here. It's what it means to rebel against proper human history. Am I wrong? Oh, you certainly aren't. But are you truly sure about this, my queen? About what? The way I see it, if we keep going down this route, your true wish will never be granted. No. If anyone else had been in the room at this time, they would have been certain their lives were forfeit. Such was the sheer, all-consuming power of the bloodlust permeating the entire place. Say that again, and I'll kill you. Ho ho ho! My apologies. I certainly don't need any more bloodlust like that directed at me. An old man like myself can only take so much. Hmm. All right, I'm off to work on the final adjustments. I'm afraid I may not be able to speak to you again for a while. Oh, really? It's the best news I've heard all day. Ah, you wound me, my queen. He's a silly guy. My wish, hmm? My wish. Of course I have a wish. My husband. Someone's hero. A deceitful man. I wish I could have shown him how this is all on his shoulders. Woman, child, an elder. A, his closest friend, a complete stranger. I didn't care who. All I wanted was to throw someone's intestines in his stupid face. I wanted to ruin everything he protected, everything he cared for, everything he had. That left no room for me. If he saved a hundred lives, I wanted to take a thousand. Though, of course, that would never be enough to hurt him. Not when his heart was hard and radiant as diamond, his magnanimity as boundless and deep as the sea. From my perspective, he was just another rude and sensitive man. I suppose that's what happens when you try to see the good in someone. I wanted to see him one last time. I wanted to tell him that everything he did was for naught. But that wish is unlikely to come true. If he were summoned here regardless of the realm, he would most likely rebel against proper human history. Even if he were to join the reinstatement or righteous realm, he would ultimately be on the same side as me. I don't want that. At all. I want to oppose him. He must be my enemy before I kill him. So Kaldia's arrival got my hopes up. But unfortunately, I'm told his group did not bring him with them. So now, 
My only hope is the slim chance he may still be summoned to fight on proper human history's side. And this is just another transient dream. Oh, it's a dream, isn't it? Hmm. So I'll just have to stick to the plan and keep doing what I must. I have to say, though, I'm not really the type to fight hard for a master. This prayer had weight. This wish had a sincere ring to it. Yes, it was sincere and powerful enough that I didn't think twice about aiding the rebellion against proper human history. Even though we didn't, even though we don't under, even understand what sort of master I'm working under, the righteousness of this wish is what drives us. Mm -hmm. Good day, Queen of Revenge. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? I'm only here to deliver some encouragement. Nothing more, nothing less. My goal is to see one of the three realms obtain all the Holy Grails. I don't care which one it is. I just want you all to give it your best effort. There's one thing I want to ask you. And what's that? Is that what Master wants, too? Mm. Well, that's a difficult question. This is our responsibility coming to bear. There's a reason all of you are fighting and destroying one another. There's one being here who must not win. But that's of no concern to you. I see. Would you like to know who it is? No need. I just couldn't think of anything else to say to an intruder who appeared unbidden in my stronghold. Your answer doesn't matter to me. Mmm. Seems I'm not very welcome here. Have you any information on either the Righteous or Reinstatement realm for me? I'm afraid sharing such things wouldn't be fair. Then you are, if possible, even more useless. If you insist on following me around any further, I'll see to it that all three realms know you for a stalker. Hmm. Well, I certainly would prefer to avoid that. Still, are you sure there isn't a question you want to ask me? Say, about the absence of a certain servant. Can't bring yourself to ask about him, huh? Hmm. Pity. Very well, then. I shall take my leave. Farewell, good for nothing. Hmm. If he just wants a toy with his pieces, then he's no more than an idiot. If he wants to maneuver himself around the board, then he's no more than a participant. Okay, so yeah, the, the, the board game thing was a kind of subtle me metaphor before, but now we're just being real obvious about the whole shogi thing, right, huh? So he's chosen to come down to the board, even though he's qualified to run the whole game. In one sense, I suppose there's a certain kind of integrity to that. But in another... Makes me think he's the most dim-witted mathematician to ever live. Yeah. No. Uh, as soon as he said, like, it's like a shogi board, or he's like, do you play shogi? I'm like, that felt like a like a pretty good, subtle jab at what would be the theme. And now, no, nah, just kidding. We're actually just going straight into the theme. You know, it's, it's for real, for real. Archer? What archer would we fight? What, what what are we doing for archers? I see. So you want to save your companion, Vlad the Third? Oh, Count Vlad, the great hero of Romania. Don't forget that he's also known as Vlad the Impaler. Maybe he can be reasoned with. Ah, uh, you'll be fine as long as you don't call him a vampire. His moves still remind me a hell of a lot of the dead apostles, though. <gasps> Why do you know about dead apostles, my man? Oh, I guess you're a mage. No, that makes sense. Never mind. But no, that, that sounds like personal experience. That's interesting. That's a little line that points a little seed towards a backstory we don't know. I do know I have to read the From Lost Belt manga. People have told me about that. The, the From Lost Belt manga is about, like, short stories uh, written about each of the cryptors, um, side stories about the cryptors there, which, uh, yeah, I'd probably want to read that on camera, honestly. Uh, the only thing is, I hear that 
they cover all of them, including Lost Belt 7 stuff, and it's real easy to accidentally stumble into Lost Belt 7, so I'm gonna maybe wait till after that. But I uh, definitely will be looking at that at some point. No, sir, you can't trade places now. They'd notice the difference in your auras immediately. Yeah, I guess you're right. At any rate, we certainly can't leave him like that. The fact is, the Righteous Realm needs all the strength they can get right now. All the more so with wisdom and intelligence. I see. So you require someone with a great deal of military expertise. We do. I'm educated in many fields. So far I've been able to keep us locked in a stalemate. But I can take us no farther. I can't see a path to victory for us. So then the best course of action we have is to save Vlad III and if possible to treat him. Would you mind letting us handle that? So what you're saying is that you have a healing and a restorative noble phantasm strong enough to return Vlad the, Fo Vlad the Third to fighting form. Am I correct? I can't promise it'll work flawlessly. To be perfectly honest, it will be a gamble. A gamble? You know gambling is bad, Sancho. I have to agree. That guy has a lovely voice. Goodness, what a lovely little voice he has. There are any number of mages who have ruined themselves by taking major risks. Really? There are? Oh, right. Um, I suppose you would know since you grew up sheltered in Caldia. As a rule, my girl, mages are arrogant creatures who think they can bend all of creation to their will. The majority think that way. It gets worse the more talented they are. I see. I suppose it makes sense since magecraft can do what would be otherwise impossible. And since there's... Nothing they they say they, they won't well, try that again. But since they think there's nothing they can't do, they get carried away and think they'll come out ahead every time they take a chance. The magecraft lets them see others cheating and helps them notice patterns and trends. So they figure they could use that advantage to cheat and win at just about everything. Basically, there's no scenario in which I don't come out on top here. That tends to be how they start thinking. But it's called a gamble for a reason, right? That's right. In a fair and impartial game of chance, a mage has the same chance of winning as they do losing. But yes, that means about half of such mages would win those gambles. But when a mage wins big, what do you think they'll do next? Bet the farm, as they say. Exactly. Strangely enough, they believe they've already won the next round as well. You really know what you're talking about here, chubs. Makes sense since you gambled and lost. Oh, no, I didn't. I absolutely won. That's why I'm still alive, even under these circumstances. Foo-foo! Foo is saying, way to look on the bright side. <laughs> Thank you, Furball. <laughs> um, returning to the point after your leader, uh, he is your leader, right? Um, anyway, as diverting as his remarks were, I'm afraid they've also gotten us a bit sidetracked. I didn't know he had such strong opinions on gambling. I see. So he gambled everything he had and lost. That poor, poor old man. At any rate, yes, this will be a gamble. Let's see. I'd say there's a 30% chance of the Noble Phantasm working as we hope, a 50% chance it will fail and have no effect, and a 20% chance that it will go disastrously wrong and damage his spirit origin. What do you say, Lord Tanner, Master of Caldia? Choice is yours. Are you willing to risk it? Yeah, I like those odds. You sure about this? I mean, I know Vlad can't make the call himself right now, but... Hey. It's what I'd want if I were him. I see. Honestly, hats off to you. I actually mean that. Alright, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were you not listening, sir? We're heading out. Out? Yes, out. We're going to destroy their trains. Vlad the... Whoop. We're going to destroy the restraints Vlad the Third placed on himself by using our noble phantasm. Oh, oh you mean... Valiente Asalto Dedicado a la Princesa? That was hard to do an accent and the voice at the same time. Is that just a valiant assault dedicated to the princess? No, not that one. Oh... There's no way a weak noble phantasm could destroy Count Vlad's stakes. Then... Do I really have to go? That, sir... Yes? 
is a secret. Sancho! She's got a real cute Empress side to her, doesn't she? Are you all right, Cadoc? You have a headache. Oh no, I'm fine. Ugh. I hate myself, Cadoc. Stop wasting your mental energy on things you can't change already. You gotta stay cool, calm, and collected. Just think about what you can actually do. It's the best possible thing you can do for yourself right now. That aside, Holmes isn't any different, is he? I thought I was doing a good job acting normal and not looking at him unless I had to, but... Damn it, it's no use. I gotta save the thinking for when he's not around like usual. The risks are just too great. I shouldn't even try to be figuring out what the world's greatest detective might be. But cold! Cadoc. Sorry, I just... I got chills. Like someone was pouring ice down my back. Ice, you say? Maybe it's a caster's curse or something. Ow, 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 ow. What's wrong, Lord Caddock? You okay? You eat something funny. You know, when I was still alive, I once ate a lizard and told everyone it was dragon meat. Oh, yes, that was a good one. A shame he did make it into the story. I guess Cervantes didn't want to include any weird food stories. All right, so are we doing like that Don Quixote was real and was just written down? Okay. No, it's not that. I'm good with food. Then what is it? Just let it go, okay? It's nothing. I'm fine. <laughs> Perhaps we'd better leave well enough alone, then. Wouldn't want our teasing to come back to bite us. He is acting a bit strange. He's acting a little weird. He's, like, too happy, you know? Now then, Mr. Tanner. I take it you've made up your mind. Was it that he was looking at Sancho and Anastasia's ghost was cursing him? Was he like, dang... I kind of like that horse girl. And then that started happening. And we should leave right away. But what will you do about your throne? We can't exactly declare that Charles III is going... Charles the Great is going on an expedition, leaving his castle undefended. I'll take over while you're gone. We'll be fine. I mean, it's not that I'm not worried, but Roland will do a better job than me, at least. There's something lovely about... Improvising when you're low on personnel. Feels like we're sticking a finger in a dike here. You can't say that, Gordolf. Come on. 2023. Do better. Bro. Not cool. Shufu's right here. Sneak, 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 sneak. Wow, that was easy. Okay, we made it out. I gotta say, I don't know how easy it was for us to get past our ramp security. I'm getting nervous about this, too. Are we sure nobody else knows the truth? Don't worry. If and when they find out, we'll just have to end the charade. How very stout-hearted of you. <laughs> no, believe me. It takes the very stoutest of hearts to accompany my sir on his adventures. Can't have the great story of Don Quixote without Don Quixote and, of course, the trusty Sancho, you know? Okay, then. Let's get going, sir. I hate how I'm in this position where I'm like, after I'm done this part, this makes me want to read Don Quixote. I said that about freaking Count of Monte Cristo. That didn't really go anywhere, but it kind of does. Because it's one of those classics. Like, it's a classic. It's a literary classic. I should know this, right? And it's only because of the freaking gotcha game. I'm exhausted. Okay. Want some water, buddy? Here, sir. Have some fruit-infused water. Thank you, Sancho. I'm sorry to interrupt your break, but I'm detecting hostiles nearby. Do you hear that, sir? We have enemies here. Oh, enemies, huh? Good thing that water put me right as rain then. Okay, Master of Caldia, time for you to see just how I became the legendary Don Quixote de la Mancha. Come, Sancho. Yes, sir. Let's give this a good go, shall we? I'm very excited to see. They better have... Peak comedic animations. Let's see here. But well, we gotta use you. Uh, we'll put you, we'll put you, and we'll put the... Uh, who else are we gonna put? Uh, 
Um, she's got them shades on, so. Um, let's go with. Uh, I'll go with this instead. Okay. Cool. Let's. Uh. Oh, we have a full party. Shoot. Freaking who cares then? Like, really, like, actually, who cares? Um, <laughs> okay, uh, there we go. Team Blue. Boy, I have a lot of... I have a lot of Arts Lancers, huh? That's a whole thing. Huh. Anyways, alright, let's go. here what do we got I'm just excited to see this dude's animations delayed gain noble phantasm okay well uh, you're not going to be doing it then we'll do that later for now. Okay. Frozen fear, intimidation. Alright, we got a full combo with them. We do! Heck yeah, let's see this. Alright. Also, so, so first off, you're green. Significant special attack to a giant enemy. Of course, reduce your HP, sure, and increase attack and crit up. Not bad, not bad. Right? Uh, and you can do... Sure. Okay. Dang, she kind of got... She kind of... Wow. Increase attack and NP gauge each turn. C stars each turn. I like holding the flag. And, uh... Usable wins 30%. Oh... Oh, that's interesting. I kind of like that. That's an interesting one. I like it. Okay, well, first off, let's start with this. Okay, that's about it. And let's see here. What are they going to do? Oh, just throws him. Sick, that's what I wanted. Oh, yeah, cheer for him. Dash. Pushing him. Oh, his animations rock, actually. I love them. Okay. Um, and let's see this. Let's do this here, because it'll be enough, probably. Alright, let's see here. It's loading a good one, I bet. Boy, it sure be loading. I mean, it is the first time it's downloading a whole servant's Noble Phantasm. Oh, she actually becomes the horse. Oh, and full gold armor. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like it. Yep, that's good. With my trusty spear, NP gain. Wow, another hundred. Very nice. I find it interesting where it's like it sets it sets it to zero, meaning that you want to get exactly 30% on it. That's kind of kind of an interesting one, right? It's quite unique in comparison to some of the others. Okay, you know, let's just do this. Let's go. Wait, wait, are these uh, NP? What are these? Uh, those are all NP strength ups. So let's go. Like that there. 
It's not we're not for looping. We're just trying to get them to kill here. Nice. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah, no, that's uh, fun animations. Maybe I was originally going to... to roll, but... Uh, I'm going to be honest. I think that's okay. I think I'm going to hold off because uh, we got some big ones coming later. Victory is ours! Well now, I'm genuinely surprised at how strong you've proven yourself to be. Hey, depending on who you ask, Don Quixote is more famous than King Arthur. Really? Maybe. True, but that alone can't explain the strength. The story of Don Quixote is replete with tales of his exploits, but each focuses on his very human limitations. For example, when he charged those windmills he believed to be giants, both he and Rociante found themselves sent flying for their troubles. Hey now, by what some of the time? My apologies. As they say, you indeed win some and lose some. But regardless, the story never once depicts him as surpassing his human limits. So then does that mean this strength comes from being king of a realm? That's exactly it, yes. You might be thinking that at long last my sir's true power as a knight has been awakened. But no, he's just enjoying the benefits that come with being a king. More specifically, the Holy Grail's support. That's one hell of a benefits package. Man, it's a lot stronger than I was expecting. I guess this means the other realm's kings must be damn strong too, especially with the Holy Grail backing them up. They are indeed. This power can transform an ordinary soldier into a warrior worthy of being sent to Valhalla or a true warrior into a hero. So if an existing hero were to obtain this power, there's no telling what might happen. And the other realm's kings are Primeld and Constantinos the Eleventh. Primeld is legendary for her vengeful nature. We can assume her combat prowess is unrivaled. Yeah, just say yeah, unrivaled. Constantinos is famed for protecting his city from a prolonged siege while unmatched and outnumbered. It will make for a formidable opponent as well. But I'm an old farmer from the sticks who's dangerously close to the age of retirement. But a seasoned knight errant. Can we at least agree on that? Of course, sir. I think it's wonderful that you never stop dreaming. Right. Right. Wait, does this mean this a dream after all? We keep coming back to that. We keep coming back. No, sir, this is all very real. Well, well, there's that then. Hmm? We'll be there soon. Are you sure you can do this? What do you think? Can I do this? Yes, sir, you absolutely can. She said I can. They say they can! I heard. You don't have to tell me again. I don't have to tell him again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure we can count on this guy, Holmes? Oh, yes. And tell me, Miss... Uh, Mr... Forgive me, how should I address you? Mrs. Fine, Lord Holmes. Very well, then. Uh, Miss Sancho, is this noble phantasm meant for support? It is. A noble phantasm belonging to Don Quixote that can neutralize Vlad III's current condition. Mm, I take this as one of the things better left unsaid. I knew an English gentleman would understand. Of course, it won't stay secret for very long, though. What are you gonna do? Why, why are they acting like this? It doesn't involve, you know. Okay. Well, let's see here. Making our way back to the Interstice Town. Well, that makes it look like we're going to be fighting him or something. Okay. Um. Abigail. Super. Yeah. Super buffed up Abigail. Sure. Why not? I could work. Um. Okay, well, let's see what we're dealing with. There he stood, as though impaled himself. Caked in blood and buffeted by the wind, he looked nothing so much as a rotting corpse. 
But he was still alive. But the reinstatement and revenge realms used to do battle here, right? How come neither of them have taken him? Take a closer look. What's that rock for? Oh. The moment he detects something moving nearby, he activates his normal phantasm automatically. He must have programmed, for want of a better word, his mind when he staked himself. Damn. He really is a monster. Hey, that's uncalled for. I don't mean it like that. I mean, I can't even begin to imagine the strength of his mind. Remember how powerless we were in that chaotic mess? I'm pretty sure we couldn't think about anything except running away. And the same goes for me as well. Well, I do think I would come up with the same idea to seal myself away. I'm not nearly so experienced in battle that I would also plan ahead to include a means of self-defense. Still, we have to do something to shut down that system, or we won't be able to help him. I suppose... We shall just have to keep him occupied in combat. In the meantime, I would like you two to use your noble phantasm on Master's signal. Can you do this, Mr. Tana? Oh yeah, beating up berserkers? I'm good for that. Watch out. It'd be ridiculous to make it this far only to have your own servant kill you. Alright. Let us help Count Vlad settle down. Which I will do... By immediately... Popping noble phantasm with Abigail. Right? That's what we'll do. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> guts on him? Perfect. Activate Guts three times to wear him down. Okay. It, wait, is it actually going to be like full HP bars? Wait, that actually might be a bit. Um. Okay. You know what? You're not 50%. Yeah, we're not going to do that with you. Uh, but what we will do is let's go. Uh, you know, I will pop it with you. Oh, is he immune to stuff? No, he's not immune to that. Okay, well, we won't worry about that. Um, okay, let's go with this. Noble Phantasm Strength up. Uh, this gives, if I'm correct... Increase NP charge by two when using Noble Phantasm is apply C stars on Buster attacks. Sure. Okay, so we could do that. Okay. Um. Oh, what the heck? We'll get these going. Okay, so we'll go one, two. Actually, yeah, two, three. All right, let's give this a try. 300%. That was a big number. That was a big number, whatever that was. Not, I don't think it's enough, but it was a big number. Yeah. So close. Auto Impaler. Target focus up. Okay. Okay. Hey, the terror struck. Very nice. Uh, let's do a turn of getting a ton of meter here. Okay, guts. Oh, it's only half guts? Yeah, that's, that's nothing to worry about then. Okay. Uh, and let's go... Uh, we can do a full combo with you now. All right. Dark coin, or rather light coin. No way, which is this one? I forget which one this. This one's dark. Yes, dark coin is a lot of fun. So he is resisting actually quite a bit. Okay. That's a lot. Charge loss on you. Um, should we absorb this? 
I think you absorbed just your own there. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So we got that. Let's go one, two, three. All right. Big stuff up because they're all crazy people. Oh, I was hoping for a crit there. Well, you're just specifically going for Abigail Williams, huh? Let's go one, two, uh, or no, let's go one, two, three. Yeah, we'll stab the once and then we'll uh, hit with the other stuff because we're not all buffed up again. So this will break it again and then I think this will be the last one. Yeah, that's good there. And now this should finish it off. Hey. Oh, just bear. Oh, wait, wait. You might die via. Oh, that was three. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. I'll take it. What crazy noble phantasm are they going to use? Now! Understood. Okay, sir, close your eyes just like I told you. Right. Go back, go back, go back. Books end. Dreams conclude with the cold splash of reality. All fades into the past like a passing fever. We must abandon our dreams that we might more fully live our lives. Activating Noble Phantasm. Return to reality. Trist Gentil Alonso Kishano. Sad, gentle Alonso Kishano. Huh. So, wait. Is this a singularity of characters who are more known for being fictional than real? Is that what we're going to be doing? Because Don Quixote, Sherlock Holmes, Moriarty, right? Um... I don't know about Constantinos, but Charlemagne and the Paladins are very much more based on story than reality for what we know of them. It's literally a plot point of Extella Link. Um, Vlad the Third, Dracula, right? Um, I don't know about Diarmid. Shufu, possibly the same thing, right? Um, where it's like, are you a historical figure or a literary figure more, right? Like, are you pseudo-historical? Hmm. Salome. The Bible. Huh. And now you have a noble phantasm about ending a story. Huh. It really makes you think. All magical energy in the vicinity is decaying rapidly. Vlad won't be able to maintain his existence if this keeps up. Correct. That is the noble phantasm's power. What? Well, as I suspected, the words she used were return to reality. What she has done here is return Count Vlad to 17th century Spain. No singularity, no magecraft, no mysteries. Just peaceful, ordinary Spanish countryside. The land where Don Quixote spent his life. That's a wild noble phantasm, actually. Wait, wait, slow down. Mystics should have been stronger this 17th century than they are today, not weaker. Both errors are well within the margin of error compared to the age of gods, but yes, you may well be right. But remember, Gordolf, 
These mystics are only measured on a worldwide scale. This noble phantasm is much more limited in scope. It forces Serpent to return to a remote part of the world where no magecraft or mystics have ever been observed. This weakens the Serpent's contract with the Master, and cuts off the magical energy they need to maintain the very being. It even neutralizes skills such as independent action. You see, Vladatha simply did not exist in 17th century Spain. And of course, this also means whatever ability Moriarty used to brainwash him will fade away like a dream. That's a really specific, but kind of... That sounds like a stand power. That doesn't sound like a, like a noble phantasm. It sounds like a stand power, you know? All that said, I'm afraid this is much as we can do. You see, my noble phantasm is one major flaw. It does? <gasps> what? Yes, if we use it for too long, we'll disappear ourselves. Hey, um, it's playing the comedy music. We're fine. I see. So that's why I feel so at peace right now. You're okay with that? Cut it the hell out. Okay, that's enough. No more normal phantasm. Abort, abort. Good. None of them vanished. The normal phantasm's effects are still somewhat present. And Count Vlad's desire to rebel should be gone now, just as Miss Sancho planned. Though the state of his combat ability remains unclear. Count Vlad? Are you okay? <laughs> I never thought I would see my master ask after my health. I suppose it just goes to show how far I let myself go, so to speak. I'm relieved to see you return to your senses, Count Vlad. What about your inclination to rebel? It has subsided considerably. The seeds are still planted in my mind, but they are sufficiently weakened that I can control them. Still, how did you do this? I wasn't expecting to be rescued until after the singularity had been repaired, if at all. Well... I would love to tell you all about it, but we are still in enemy territory. I want to re-vacate these premises first. Good idea. Oh, this whole ordeal actually got me sweating. All's well that ends well. Sure is. Hang on. You guys do realize you almost vanished, right? What if you had? Wouldn't that have brought the righteous realm to the brink of collapse? Don't worry, Lord Caddock. That would have been a grand adventure in its own right. Yay for adventure! Yay for adventure! Come on, Tanner, say something. Yay for adventure! That's not what I meant, damn it. Affectionate gaze. Now, was that towards us? Like, was that towards, like, the master? Like, oh... I love my son. Was it towards Caddock? Finally, another straight man for the group. Or was that towards Sancho? My god, I have a complicated relationship with horse pussy. Like, which was it, buddy? You gotta pick one. Vlad III's triumphant return. Sure, let's do it. Why not? We got time. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Let's do it. What are we doing? Where are we going? Why is it loading? I see. So it won't be possible for me to fight until the singularity is repaired. I'm afraid I have one more piece of disappointing news. That noble phantasm took so much out of us that we won't be able to do anything for a while either. If we try to charge it a windmill now, we'd be knocked aside like a blade of grass. Really, Sancho? Am I that weak now? I'm afraid so, sir. Try charging Lord Holmes if you don't believe me. Huh. All right, I will. Here I come. <laughs> Wavering briefly before simply reaching out a hand and stopping him by catching his head. <laughs> yeah. Who? Hmm. I suppose we can draw call it a draw. <laughs> Tanner, I want you to do a pratfall right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's it. Well done. 
Is this some sort of ritual with which I'm unfamiliar? Wait, Holmes, you've never watched anime, have you? Wordlessly popping a headache back. <laughs> Just the, the image of him literally popping an Advil. That was so funny. And Vlad is even like, hmm. You concluded that you required my wisdom, even at the cost of your powers as king of this realm. Yes, we're simply not capable of taking things beyond this point. It was clear how things would end if either one of the other two kings were to launch a serious assault against us. Even so, your unwavering willingness to give up the power you were given is no small thing. It was an act of either great selfishness or great selfishness. I'm sorry. That was no way to speak to my saviors. Not at all. Very well, then. Let's return so I can see the Righteous Realm City for myself. It's going to be on fire. From there, I'll survey your military capacity and it'll be on fire. No, wait. I almost forgot something important I need to do first. What's that? This. My true name is Vlad III. I'm a servant of Chaldea, Berserker class. And now I have returned to where I belong. Good to have you back, Count Vlad. Thank you, Master. I may not be able to be your spear for the time being, but there are still things I can and must do to help. Sir? That's it. That's exactly how a knight and his lord should behave. I want that. Um, welcome home, sir. Just not the same. Oh. Oh my god, that's your, your duchess form. One more word like that from you, sir, and I'll send you sailing straight down this mountain. <gasps> I'm sorry, milady. Better. Dulciana. Oh, what was that all about? I suspect that was another one of Miss Sancho's sides. Princess Dulciana, most likely. One of the more reasons, uh, one of the reasons Don Quixote sets off on his journey in this titular story was to tell people far and wide of Princess Dulciana's beauty. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing, but it's true. Can you at least warn me for a chance for him like that? My poor heart can't take it. Deal with it. Am I? Am I the only one concerned about our current situation? Because it seems to me that losing Vlad III as a fighter is a major setback. You're not wrong, but in this case, I also don't think it's the whole story. We have a good number of military assets to work with on both ends. Up until now, though, we've lacked the tactical expertise to make use of them. So if Vlad can make up for that deficiency, then I think there are still some positives to be gained from this. I guess that's true, but... oh. Losing his combat prowess still hurts. All right, we'll be taking our leave here. See you back at the throats? <laughs> Goodbye. Very well, then. Let's take a walk around the city. Mr. Tanner, cannot can you be so kind as to disguise yourself as servants once again? We're going to be on our way. Are we going to get up there and Charlie's going to be on the throne? Hello? There's plenty of life here, but not much drive. Morale is fairly decent. And yet on the whole, it's all too... Relaxed. Relaxed. I see. Since each realm's population is comprised entirely of servants, universal conscription, conscription is a genuinely viable option. Of course, we wouldn't want everyone to perpetually be mired in despair over the pr prospect of a long-term war. But for when those who should be helping to fight the war are no longer able to separate it from their daily lives, that's when weariness sets in. And when conflict is inevitable, weariness can and does lead directly to defeat. We were told earlier that the Righteous Realm's army is about to begin a training exercise. Shall we go pay them a visit? Yes, let's do that. Hey, Tanner. Yeah, Caddock? I think this training exercise is going to help much. I don't know. We might as well hope for the best. That's nah, just pure optimism. It's not productive. Sorry, that's what I am. I'm a bundle of optimism, buddy. Swords at the ready in Slash.
draw, aim loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See these spear skills? That's why they call me the Gale. Only you call you that. I can't use her about casting. I don't want to put in my deuces and alchemists and then some way. Don't tell me. It's because my tongue is too short, isn't it? Strange. Oh. Well, going got a lot harder than I was expecting. Well, what do you know? I don't know much about combat training, but it looks like they're doing a good job. This is even worse than I thought. Why is that? I'd prefer to meet with the king, with Charles the Great, before I say any more. There's no sense having the same conversation twice. Is it that bad? It is. Let us say, for the sake of argument, that the situation was entirely in our favor. By which I mean, imagine the other two teams were waged in all-out war, and that one side succeeded in wiping out the other, but at the cost of the majority of their soldiers. Even in that ideal situation, I can tell you that we will still... We still could not win. That bad. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you two. It seems you already understand the problem. Well, yeah, I guess. I mean, we technically are two knights of the Twelve Paladins. So we both have a decent amount of real military experience. There's another case for, like, the other servants, too? Sure. Some of them used to be heroes or in the military or otherwise fought in some major battles. The problem is they're all over the place. There's no unity or teamwork whatsoever. We can lead small teams well enough, but that's it. The Stolf and I can possibly lead an entire army. What's more, Diarmid and Shu Fu are only slightly better than nothing. From what I've been told, both Krimheld of the Revenge Realm and Constantinos of the Reinstatement Realm have full control of their armies. By comparison, our forces are no more than a motley crew of amateurs. In short, the entire fate of the Righteous Realm rests on whether we can transform the dis disparate rabble of servants into a unified army. So how exactly do we do that? Since the dawn of recorded history, there has been only one reliable way to turn soldiers into an army. Training. I see. And I do not mean the way it is being done now, wherein each servant does whatever they please. They need to be trained to work as a single army and operate as though they were all part of a single organism. If they cannot do that, then we have no hope of victory. So to begin, I would like to inform every servant in the Righteous Realm that they are to assemble early tomorrow morning for joint training. All right, we will. I'll put together an initial lineup, then adjust it over the course of the training. We need to know whether we would be best served by forming groups composed of all the different classes, or of a single class. What sort of units we need, what it is we lack the most. Everything. We must review every detail. Hey, Sancho? No, sir, you can't relinquish the throne. How did you know I was, what I was going to say? Look, I'm not proud of this, but even I know I'm not the best choice for this job. Sancho was right. Unfortunately, I currently lack the strength to stand on the front line myself. More importantly, you have already claimed to be Charles the Great. None of the other servants here would accept me suddenly taking over as your successor. You are Charles the Great now, and there's nothing you can do to change that. Go. Oh. Escape is no longer an option. Even if the path before you requires scaling a sheer wall, you must find a way to crawl up and reach the other side. Whatever you do, you cannot fall. Use whatever lies or blusters you need to hold yourself in place. You are an emperor. You cannot change that. Okay. It's all right, sir. Don't worry. If worse comes to worse, I'll figure something out. <clears throat> hmm. Miss Sancho's son had fully confident in her ability to make good on her pledge. Uh, based on his story, that should have been enough to set Don Quixote's mind at ease. But judging by the look on his face, he's positively racked with guilt. I expect all of you to attend the training tomorrow as well. That, of course, includes you, Master. Well, you won't be able to summon servants with so many watchful eyes nearby. As long as you don't have them use noble phantasms, you should be able to pass yourself off as a caster who calls upon shadow soldiers to fight for you. Oh, that sounds like a challenge mission. Canok is mage and master. I want you to provide advice. That was quite the job. I'll do the best I can. 
Holmes, you're a great detective. I am certain you can see things I cannot. Even if you may lack military expertise, it would be a great help if you would keep an eye out for them. Will you? Of course. And there you have it, Master. Glad to have you on the team. What about us? You do have the most difficult task of all. What's that? Wait, and trust that we will complete our tasks. You are not to do anything more than that. Really? So I'm supposed to do nothing? You are Charles the Great. You neither reveal your true identity nor take part in battle. I'm sort of giving him a British voice too I shouldn't. Your job is to have faith in your subordinates. Yes, sir. Master Caddock, I urge you two to get some rest. I shall do the same. What a comfy little room. Aw, oh, man, it's still the middle of the night. Gotta pee. Where's the bathroom? Hmm? Oh, Lord Tatter. Is something the matter? I couldn't sleep. Oh, you got a piss too, huh? <laughs> Elderly folks like me are notoriously light sleepers on account of the piss. You're much too young for that. Sancho? I'm here, sir. Shall I make some cocoa then? I do you do what to do, my wonderful maid. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'll be back shortly. So, how'd you end up pretending to be emperor anyway? It's a long story. You see, well, <clears throat> one thing led to another, and uh, here we are. That's all it really boils down to. I knew I was a servant of proper human history, which, well, immediately put me at odds with the other servants. I suppose you could say it was a stroke of luck. I was just about to say something to them when Sancho clapped a hand over my mouth and acted like we were on their side. Then, with when we learned my sneaking into the revenge realm, I knew things couldn't go on as they were. I may have been able to retain my body in that realm, but I would have lost my mind. I'm a coward, you see. But the reinstatement realm wasn't much better. Their motives and methods may differ from the revenge realm, but they were still rebelling against proper human history. I agonized over what we should do, and ultimately, I decided to move to an area where neither realm had much influence. Next thing I knew, we were surrounded by other servants who felt the same way and ran away with us. It was Sancho who came up with the idea of creating a place for servants, servants on the side of proper human history. Me? All I did was run around in a tizzy. I was only useful on the rare a few occasions we had to fight demonic beasts. And when I volunteered once, we concluded that someone when I volunteered, when I volunteered once when we concluded uh, someone would have to be this realm's new leader. I butchered that, but whatever. Sounds pretty admirable to me. No, it wasn't. It really wasn't. For one thing, I wasn't even summoned in my prime. Both my mind and body are well past the sell-by date if you take my meaning. My story both begins and ends with me as an old man. It's the only way I'm known. It's why I look the way I do. <laughs> I was so nervous when I pretended to be Charles the Great, I thought I was going to throw up. You know, you do seem a lot, a lot different now than you do during the day. Because these lonely nights are the only time I could go back to being of reasonably sound mind. Grim as that may sound. Here's your cocoa, sir. Lord Tanner? Great. Thank you, Sancho. Thank you. My pleasure. Mm. Nice and sweet, just the way I like it. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like it. It's made with horse milk. Mm. This cocoa is so good. I feel like it's making me forget I'm a knight. Oh my. Then I better take it away right now. Please don't. This is one of the few pleasures I have at my age. I was only joking. Um, Don Quixote was just telling me about how you took charge here. So it sounds like this whole realm was your idea, Sancho. Not at all. I only made a suggestion. I'm also one of the world's most helpful maids, you see. I mean, Kohaku and Hisui hear that and go, wait, what? If my sir wants something, it's my job to make it happen. He took over rulership of this realm because it was the safest position for him to be in. 
We'd be treated like any other foot soldier if we went out to fight on the front lines. And I didn't want us to die right after being summoned, so... I pretty much only ever said a deed when I'm on the throne. It hardly makes for royalty. It's rather how teenagers see their parents. You mean as a nuisance? You need only be proud and domineering. That's all a king or emperor needs. If you say so. What do you think, Lord Tatter? I think it's, uh, when it's important, you have to take matters in your own hands, personally. Do I think so, too, huh? Hmm. <laughs> That's true. One should take important matters into their own hands. And conversely, when they're not important, one should leave them well enough alone. Okay, I'll do that. Basically, right now, you have to stick to what you're already doing. I guess so. Thanks again for the cocoa. I'd better head back now. Oh? Are you sure you wouldn't like to talk more? No. We should go get some rest. We have an early morning tomorrow. Good night. What a nice pair of servants. I sure hope one of them isn't secretly evil. I'm gonna be honest, Sancho. I'm feeling a little distrustful of you. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Was that a mistake? It's hard to say. I'd have to work hard up the I'd have to work up the courage to apologize. What do you think of the Master of Caldia, Sancho? You won't know how terrible a judge of character I am. I think he's a good person. And above all, I think he's very willing to forgive others their mistakes. Sir, you do know what Caldia coming here means, right? It means he and his companions have come a long way to be here. So there's no need to feel bad for them. I know. But still... I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about this, sir. It is all down to you. Though, of course... Mm hmm? Depending on how things go, an apology might be the last thing they need. Ah. Huh. What are we talking about? I guess we should head back to the throne. It's time to return to my duties as Charles the Great. Hmm. I'm wondering if did did they kill Charlie when they first arrived and in doing so they killed Charlie upon you know the coming back and in doing so potentially screwed up maybe that they didn't kill Charlie he's fine Look at all these generic people. Good day, everyone. My true name is Vlad III. I come on behalf of Charles the Great, who was asked that I lend my support to the Righteous Realm. Unfortunately, I've lost my own servant powers due to extenuating circumstances. However, as a result, His Imperial Majesty has seen fit to trust me with full command of his army. You may consider me your general, marshal, or whatever other high-status position suits you. If any of you object, speak now. One of them throws with a hand. Yeah, you killed me in life! Nope, guess not. I'm glad to see none take issue with my leadership. Now then, without further ado, I would like to begin your military training. From this point on, you must act as a single army rather than individual heroes. Together, you will form multiple units, all of which will combine to create a unified armed force. I am, of course, aware that it will take more than my say-so to convince you of the merits of this new direction. I understand why this may concern you. Your individual exploits are what made you heroic spirits. I'm sure many of you believe you are strong enough to be better off doing as you please. Which is why I would like to start with training exercise. I will form a unit of my own, but I will keep its numbers to a bare minimum. Here is a scenario. My unit will defend a fortress, the rest of you will surround and attack it. However, my unit will also soon be receiving new reinforcements. As the attackers, your objective is to break through the defenses and lay claim to the fortress as your own. With such overwhelming numbers on your side, 
Your victory should be all but assured. Failure is not an option. As you'll begin with such a tremendous advantage, you shall surely not refuse, yes? And he's going to show that his well-coordinated well strategy will work better, right? Yeah. Lad the third speech had the desired result. It lit a fire in the proud servant's hearts. Let's do this thing. You mess with the wrong servant. You're going to regret this. The fortune is as good as ours. As these and other indignant war cries rang out, Vlad III instructed the casters to construct a temporary fortress. Boy, they can just build that, huh? A fortress that looked and probably actually was much too flimsy to stand up to a servant attack. Nonetheless, Vlad III and his small force of servants entered and locked the gate behind them. In three hours, the battle would begin. The servants Vlad III chose for his units ran around hurriedly to try and prepare as best they could. One or two seemed less than happy about having been selected, though. Who did he pick? They should carry out their duties faithfully, having been chosen ahead of time. Indeed. But if I may, Lord Vlad, can you tell me why you chose a siege? Because defense is where I excel. Because if we win, none of the other servants will have any right to complain. Ha! Now I see. Caster, Tanner, yes, sir. As I told you earlier, you can't have your servants use their noble phantasms, but you also don't need to defeat our opponents. This battle will be a test of endurance. I urge you to take that into consideration when creating your lineup. I'm adding Holmes, Roland, and Shu Fu to your group. This fortress has intentionally been built with a hole in its defenses that could let the enemy easily occupy the entire fort should they break through. Our opponents will most likely attempt to catch victory through brute force at first. If and when that falls, they would eventually ho notice the hole in our defenses. But looking at it from a different perspective, if that is where they focus their attention, their assault will become quite predictable. Remember, whether you're playing offense or defense, analyzing and predicting your opponent's actions is the most important thing you can do. Now go, hide by the hole and wait for my signal. Yes, sir? Good, I'm counting on you. Hey again, so like before, I'll be backing you up, but I'm not going to do any fighting myself. Why the look? I'm trying to get off easy again or something? I don't exactly see you guys ready to, getting ready to jump into the fray either, you know. Bleh. Okay, that's enough of that. Now it is with that spell already, would you? Ah, fine, blah blah blah, blind hup. What kind of chant was that? Don't get off my case. It's not the words, it's the heart that goes into them, capiche? It didn't really sound like your heart was into it to me, but whatever. I'm empty minded like that. Are you sure you don't mean broad minded? Having an empty mind isn't usually a good thing. Oh, here they come. This fortress has been built with a secret side gate on the right side of the back gate. It's not big enough for a real wagon, but they could easily let a group of humans through. Well, at least that's apparently the planned scenario, and our opponents know about this as well. So we shouldn't have to worry about riders trying to make their way through. Instead, according to Count Vlad's estimations, we should expect to see servants who excel in close-range combat like sabers, lances, and assassins. Here they come. Now! Damn it, it's an ambush! Fall back! Huh? You want us to fall back now? <laughs> Alright, let's go to town on them, shall we? We beating up on helpless targets feels good! Nice strategy, losers. You can resist that sweet, juicy bait, could you? That caster there is just nasty! And what's with that hideous doll she's carrying? You're dead. Alright, it's go time! Agreed! We've got about five seconds before Lady Shufu rushes in and starts punching faces. We must stop them before that happens. So, it's an endurance battle with no noble phantasm. That's fine. Um, cool. In that case, um, let's start with, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. who was I thinking of? Ryder. Jorgejos, Jorgejos and his photos, and then we'll, because honestly, if we're just doing that, let's just keep doing, like, target focus fellas, right? We'll do this, we'll give you, um, we have invincible on, yeah, we have an invincible on the volume, 
Volume in Hydrangeum, which is invincible three times. Cool. Uh, then we'll also give Riders Down, though. Hmm. That won't really work. Uh, let's see. Can't use Noble Phantasm. So casters aren't going to do too much. Um, I'll put you at the back. Even though you're not currently in your last man standing phase. Um, I might go with... I should probably get a caster just for the sake of doing damage. Honestly, you do pretty good damage on your own. So let's get you for just doing damage. Um, and then we'll do... We have one that gives evade three times. Sure. All right. Cool. Let's uh, give this a. Uh, to yeah. Let's switch this to um. This one here. All right. Let's give this a go. Cool. What do we got? Come on. It feels like it's been taking a while to load. I haven't done a download of the all the game stuff for a while. Mostly because it takes a long time. But, uh... 50. Hold him out for five turns? Oh, fasha. Okay. Also, hey, Roland, you're here. We can actually see you in combat. Cool. Um, let's go target focus on you. Um... And we'll start with this just for this turn, just so we don't have to worry. Let's try and see what Roland's Noble Phantasm looks like. So let's go with, uh... Do you have anything that gives meter? Apply Invincible and Noble Phantasm Gauge. I'll hold on for that. Remove, uh, Charm D Resist Down. Remove, remove buffs for all enemies. Shut up, that's incredible. Gain Gauge, gain stuff, HP loss. That's pretty good. Dang, he's got kind of a good little kit, huh? I mean, he's going to be a saber, so I assume, yeah, he's just going to be doing saber stuff, huh? Warm up. Okay. And your normal phantasm does apply ignore invincible, increase strength, crit, crit up, and deal significant damage, damage to a single enemy, huh? You know what? Sure, let's go with, uh... It's just Durendal, yeah. All right. All right, let's see here. It's just it's just going to be Durendal, so it's like we we've literally seen Durendal with another servant, so Yo. Okay, that's just a straight power geyser. That's kind of sick actually. That's kind of super sick actually. Kind of love that. Sorry, what? That's an anchor. That's cool. Okay. Alright, let's go now. Um, sure. Do that there. Why not? This is going to be nothing. Just holding off for five turns? This is going to be super easy. What are you talking about? This is not difficult at all. I feel like if they want to be hard, they do it like 10 turns, honestly. Unless something happens where it's going to be like surprise, where you replace it with an AoE Berserker with instant Noble Phantasm or something, right? I don't think it's going to happen, but... We even lost the, the thing on you. Okay. Um... Playing around with all those. Alright, so let's go. So those there. Good stuff. And yeah, nice. Let's 
supplication. It just buff. Wait, what? Oh, I was joking, but that's literally what it is. Um, nullify, 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 nullify. Okay. Sure. I mean, I'm not super worried. Like, we have a full party after this, so, like, okay. Do what you want to do, buddy. Yeah, he's fine. That's his job. That's his job, so we're fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but that was the point. The point is that it's meant to show, like, oh, uh, guys, you're like... You're not a problem for us. At all. Retreat! Retreat! Damn it. I really thought this was a good idea. Can't believe we lost to this ragtag bunch. I brought shame upon my order. You said it. How the hell did riffraff like this get the better of us? Yeah, you better run, you rat bastards. I'm coming to punch the lights out of you right now. I'm getting out of here. Don't think they'll be coming back anytime soon. Thanks, Shufu. All right, looks like our work here's done. Looks like things are playing out more or less as we expected. Let's check in with Count Vlad to make sure. I'm officially taking command of this army, and I shall train you in the ways... what ways I deem best. I take it there are no objections? No, sir. He's a demon! A demon, I tell ya! I still don't know what happened. I felt like there was nothing we could do to win. I can't believe I couldn't destroy one piddling fortress. Some hero I turned out to be. <laughs> I was gonna say, I wonder who this is. I expected this to happen, but it was truly impressive seeing it all play out. Oh, this is Sancho, by the way. That was terrifying. Terrifying. Are you two okay? Oh, yes, we're fine. The castle's almost deserted right now. I never understood how terrifying a full unified army could be until today. Yes, sir, I knew saving him was the right choice. Now that Count Vlad is in charge of our military affairs, we should be more than equal to the task uh, ahead. Indeed. So then? Yes. I think now is the time to make our move, after we discuss it with Count Vlad. Thank you all once again for your help. They're going to reveal to the people that they're not real. And that they probably killed the actual Charles the Great before they got here. I bet you that's what it's going to be. I bet you they did something silly. Or they did, like, the some noble phantasm that brought out the literature fake one. Assassination plot. Uh-oh. Wait. Wait. We'll have to see. All right, guys. We'll see you next time for some more Let's Play Fake Grand Order as we check out the assassination plot. We'll see you then, guys. Ciao. Yo. <laughs>